Welcome back. Next up, Rowan and I are very excited to have Choice Provisions come and chat to us about Hextech Mayhem, a League of Legends story. So I'd love to welcome to the stage Alex Noisy and Mike Rouse come and chat to us. Hey. Hi, guys. Hi. What's up? How are you guys doing? It's so exciting for you to be here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're totally stoked to be here. And the game's out today. You can play it today. Yes. I'm so excited. It is out today. It's amazing. It is out today. I will be playing it tonight. We've yep. been playing it for so long. Now everyone else can play it. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. And everyone else can get so much better at it we, than I am. Un yeah. Until today, we were the best players in the world at the game. Right. And that is now no longer true as of 20 minutes. of. Uh, I, we, we believe this to be the <laughs> yeah, case. I, and we actually talk about this quite often in the studio. How, how, how quick will it be before people 100% uh, this game? In, instant, oh, better than us. Yeah. Better than us. <laughs> better than us. Way better. Instant, they are already better than us right now. So talking about your guys' DNA, um, Bitrip Runner, obviously that's your guys' baby. What did you take from, from that into Hextech Mayhem? Bitrip Runner, Runner 2, and Runner 3, of course, are, we call them rhythm platformers, yeah. right? I would put the emphasis on rhythm for those games. But for Hextech Mayhem, we wanted it to be a little bit more than just rhythm. And so it's, we call it a musical game <laughs> now. So it is much more musical. So in Hextech Mayhem, you're not only playing to the beat and in sync with the beat, you're also playing along with the melody, um, the, the verses, the, the chorus, the bridge, and all of the, it's, it's much more, I guess, of a holistic, of the musical, a holistic musical, musical game, yeah. With Hextech Mayhem, we introduce this thing. When you do things off prompt, there are all kinds of extra things that you can do between the prompts. So. We've got the prompts showing up on screen, and then in between them, if, you're, if you've got a keen eye and a keen ear, you can tune into the music, do an extra input for extra points, and that's the only way that you're gonna get competitive ranks. And when you do it correctly, the whole screen is just basically a ball of explosions. Yeah, which is very which, fitting for Ziggs. <laughs> yes, which is fitting for Ziggs. Very this was one of your things from the beginning, was like he needs to feel just... Essentially out of control. If we did it right, which I think we did. Here's where the explosions and the chaos are too much, and here's where we want you to be. It's like right just there. On yeah. the, just on just the where <laughs> you're starting to feel like, oh my God, what am I? What is going on? Can I? Can I even handle this? Is this too much? Is this is, too much? But it, no, it, it never is quite too much. We're working with your IP. Mm -hmm. This is not our own invention, so we want to do it right, um, represent it well. Um, not only just represent it correctly, but actually do it, mm -hmm. it and I you know, say, really well. Uh, Ziggs made that very easy I mean, for us. I mean, yeah. Ziggs is amazing. Yes. You, you guys have amazing. got Ziggs on lock. The, like, it's, the yeah. voiceover in this game is just... Uh, oh God, Rowan and I were talking about it, and is, <laughs> you're just playing it and chuckling because yes. because the one-liners and the dialogue and, and Ziggs' responses are just hilarious. I never knew how much I wanted to hear Ziggs and Heimerdinger yell at each other. Yeah, like yeah. that banter is just and amazing. the banter feels really good. <laughs> Especially in the boss battles. There are a couple lines that, even though I've played them a thousand times, I still laugh, you know, uh, during those boss battles. You know, we know Ziggs and Heimerdinger from uh, League of Legends, and just seeing them outside of that in a different yeah. scenario, um, I'm really excited to see Together what... Together in a story. They feel like what I would imagine two hot-headed yordles <laughs> getting all uppity with each other would feel, uh, yeah. would feel like. The cutscenes are super fun. The code name <laughs> for the game uh, was JFG which stood for Joyful Fun Game. And that was really our guiding light. Was, that was our goal, is to make a, you know something that's uh, fun, explosive, keeps a smile on your face the whole time. And that's sort of our studio's goal, is making games that just uh, make the player smile. And uh, you know it's the point of a, a video game, in our opinion. League of Legends takes itself very seriously. Mm -hmm. um, but our studio, and <laughs> yeah. in particular, Mike and myself we don't. Are, we are the opposite. Don't of, of take that. things too seriously, and we're very silly and wacky. And we sort of got to explore Ziggs and Heimerdinger uh, without the seriousness yeah. that comes with League of Legends. Mm. Um, in Hex Tech Mayhem, the difficulty is there if you want to opt into it. But the base difficulty and sort of maybe what I would call the the primary game experience is all prompted uh, like, a, like a Guitar Hero or a DDR or something like that, yeah. where you know exactly what you have to do and when you have to do it, 
And if you want to play the game only doing that, you're still going to get the full game experience and it's going to be great and you're going to be vibing and nodding your head and tapping your foot and all that. But then after you beat the game, you unlock these other modes. There's the full action mode, which shows you every single prompt. So that's the normally prompted ones plus the freestyle mayhem ones. So um, it, fill, it <laughs> fills the screen. Yeah, it fills that's the just screen. Chaos. Yeah. It, it, it's totally it's crazy. like extreme difficulty. <laughs> of course, if you want the ultimate challenge, insane yeah. challenge, yeah. we have impossible mode, yeah. which is no prompts. Yeah. So you have to play the game, uh, listen to the music to discern what you need to do, uh, and look at the visuals, because there are plenty of visual cues even without the prompts, but you have to be able to recognize them. And yeah. so when you're playing impossible mode and you're good at it, yeah. it's it gonna is look it's bananas. Gonna look Cool, then I think we should probably like get up some gameplay and take a look at it. Yeah. Cool. Can you just chat us through the level, Alex? Yeah, sure. Um, so what we're looking at right now is sort of the normal mode. The player here is following the prompts, and that's all they're doing. And you can see Ziggs is bounding through the level, blowing stuff up. He is running past a lot of the Wardens, not interacting with them, just sort of letting them laze around or, or try to get him. Um, I do love all the Warden's little actions, though, and they, they have their like little personalities. And you can see right there, that just happened uh, with some bottle rockets. Uh, that's one of the um, gimmicks that Ziggs uses to wreak havoc um, and cause mayhem. Uh, and so, as you watch this playthrough, you'll notice like there, Ziggs just missed that white oh, yeah. uh, uh, oh, yeah, gizmo, yeah. and Ziggs is missing these orange gizmos. That's because those are off the prompted path. Now, the majority of items are on the prompted path, uh, but uh, but if you really want to excel at the game, you're going to have to do some stuff. You would have to do all of them at the same time. That's you right. Know. Yeah, some, some unscripted, uh, okay. some unscripted inputs. And what's the difference between the the blue and the yellow cogs? So the uh, the the blue cogs, uh, we call them gizmos. Uh, they help Ziggs to build his whammer jammer. <laughs> and his whammer jammer is the bomb that Ziggs is telling Heimerdinger is going to be the best bomb ever. It's, it's a very sophisticated invention. Yes, the yeah. biggest bomb. It's the biggest bomb he's ever created. <laughs> yeah. And he's very proud of the idea. It's very complicated, sophisticated. Yep. yep. It's for jamming whams yep. or whamming jams. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Heimerdinger is not having any of it. Uh, but so the blue cogs you collect to build the whammer jammer, which is then what you ride into battle against Heimerdinger in the boss battle. So that's kind of the goal of the game is to build this big bomb and you it's, know. To, it's for Ziggs to build his biggest bomb ever and uh, in retaliation Heimerdinger creates an invention of his own. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the white cogs, uh, which you mentioned as well, Rowan, those allow you to buy extra costumes. costumes. Yes. Costumes skins. for Ziggs. Skins, skins. Which are very fun. Yeah. Let's uh, talk a little bit about the skins. Yeah. Uh, well, we have uh, uh, a bunch of skins in the game mm -hmm. um, that uh, reflect League's IP quite nicely, yeah. I, I believe. Um, and uh, like Alex said, they're purchasable by the white do doodads that are off path. Each skin has its own suite of uh, effects and special animations. When you play with one of the costumes on, it, it looks different because all of the explosions, all the effects are different yep. and everything. And I so love that. it just has a different flavor. Okay, so this one is a little bit more difficult. So what's the what's the difference in this level compared to the more regular one we just looked at? Right. In this one, you'll see uh, that the player here is doing some of the off prompt actions. Mm. So you'll notice um, a lot of the times when they collect the orange gizmos, they're throwing a bomb here, right? And it's all synced to the music, of course, um, and prompted by the music, but it's all optional. So the player here is opting in to some of the extra stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm noticing that they're not opting into everyone because yeah. you see all the Hextech um, objects there that are glowing blue. Mm -hmm. Those indicate freestyle mayhem opportunities. Okay. And so you want to destroy all of those glowing blue Hextech uh, 
level elements yeah. uh, this, as you're going through. This player seems stamina. pretty comfortable with inserting extra bomb throws, but they're not really doing all of them, and they're missing some of the pounds and jumps as well. That's right, yeah, because yeah. there are optional moves, all the moves. Which feels good, and I started out kind of doing um, like warden runs. I was trying to uh, get as many wardens as I could. That was like sort of my introduction to the um, I mean, to, that to feels mayhem. like a noble quest for Zeke. I, it was I a agree. Very noble. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Uh, and it's funny because you get the the unique animations quite quite often. The silly the wardens silly warden versus yes. the, the screen or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then wow, the crescendo at the end. That, uh, yeah. We tried to uh, respect Ziggs as much as possible by making it uh, as explosive as we can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the end of each level pretty much ends with a big bang. Yeah. This is again why Ziggs is amazing because yeah. if all else fails, just blow something exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah. And the way he does it yeah. is always funny. <laughs> He's cute. He's really cute. Oh, well, now here. Okay, yeah. The challenger uh, run. Oh, yeah. The only way you can get a challenger rank is by doing everything. It's it's 100%. Yes. Right? Like, it's not, it's yeah, not yeah. 99%. You, 99 like, to get challenger, you <laughs> yes. have to perfect a level. Mm -hmm. You have to perfect the levels. They're doing extra jumps, they're doing extra pounds, they're yeah. doing extra throws, all of it. But this is optional as well, right? Yeah. With Challenger, yeah. Yep, uh, and, totally optional. And this player is sight reading all of the, the level elements, right? To, so mm -hmm. that they know where to, like they're listening to the song yes. and they're reading like all of the, the gizmos on the screen to be able to get Challenger. That's right, yeah. Um, and this is what a Challenger run looks like. Um, and this is a relatively early on level. This is maybe on the front half. Uh, yeah, this not is... quite halfway through the game. Hey, look, there's hey. Jinx. Oh, Jinx. Yeah. there's Jinx. Yeah. She's a, she's a Can we jumper. call it Zinx? Zinx. You know, we yes. thought about that. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. Look at that. It's so, it's cool. so cute. It's amazing. I know. And you guys have seen Arcane, the television series? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. There are some things for the player to discover that directly references Arcane. Cool. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see uh, if the players see it and, and their uh, reaction to that. Now here is impossible. Yes, now this is the yeah, chaos mean, and, one. And this is crazy. Um, I think it's just beautiful. Yeah. I mean, you don't have the prompts and if you are at this level where you're able to do this, yes. it is literally like playing a musical instrument yeah. in my opinion. It is, it, it, it really is like playing a musical instrument and I'm glad that you said it that way. I would not have said it that way, but you're right. It's impressive to watch. Can you talk a bit about you know the art style here? Because you know the levels are just very gorgeous. Part of it was easy because uh, Piltover and the League world is so well defined. Mm -hmm. um, but we really wanted to throw our spin and our taste on it, um, have it be Piltover and Zon from our point of view. Um, and we also Ziggs has that cartoony feel mm -hmm. uh, to him, so we wanted to represent that with uh, the way we uh, modeled, our, the way our characters look, our animations, the way they, there's a lot of stretching in the anims, a lot of goofiness in our, mm. our animation. Like you said, it's your interpretation of Piltover, so there's no, you know, the lines aren't straight on the buildings, and right. some of the buildings are kind of bopping up and down in the background yeah. in time with them mm. beat. Like it, it feels like there's personality in the world, which yeah. just feels like your guys' stuff. So is there anything else you want to share with players about Hextech Mayhem? Uh, I think I'd just say have fun and get into the... Joyful fun. Have joyful fun. <laughs> and uh, that's sort of our studio motto, motto uh, to... Um, I'll let you say it because you say it so often. Get in the zone and ride the vibe. Yeah. Hey, I love that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Alex. You're the best. Thanks so much for having Cheers, us. Cheers, Thank you, Leon. Thanks, Thanks.